in Jamaica despite criticism that the government's election tax promise was an election ploy. Prime Minister Andrew Holness insists the tax plan is still on the cards. He gave that assurance as he addressed residents in Montego Bay recently. More from Leslie and Sherwood. There are some who have expressed concerns as to whether or not we will be able to fulfill the commitments that we have made. There are some that have said that we have heightened the expectations of the population. Well, I have never been one to just set my heart where I know it can be reached. I go for challenges. I take on the difficult problems. An assurance from Prime Minister Andrew Holness that the government will honor its commitment to removing income tax for PAYE workers who earn up to $1.5 million annually. And that's all Mr. Holness was prepared to say as he addressed residents in Montego Bay at a town hall meeting recently. The government's tax plan has been shrouded in controversy since Finance Minister Audley Shaw told the country that the monies the government was banking on to fund the tax relief plan had already been used by the previous Simpson-Miller administration. During its campaign for office, the JLP told the country that the tax break would come into effect on April 1. The JLP was leaning on the availability of $9.5 billion from the gas tax, but that fund is no longer accessible. Speculation is rife that the government is scampering for monies to protect their political reputation. Mr. Holness stayed clear of mentioning how the government plans to fund the proposal. However, he told residents of the second city that the government would employ policies that would improve their lives. Mr. Holness maintained that the government's prosperity message hasn't changed. Everywhere you go, right across Jamaica, somehow the word prosperity has, cut, has taken on. Whether it is people are now expecting their water supply issues to be dealt with. They are expecting the crime situation to be dealt with. And certainly, everyone is expecting to hear 1.5. And we know the expectations are there. And we have no intentions to disappoint. We intend to deliver on what we have committed to the Jamaican people. The Prime Minister stressed that the JLP's prosperity message isn't one-sided. It is for those who want to invest and want to be assured that Jamaica will continue to maintain fiscal discipline and prudence in the administration of public affairs. It is for those who consider themselves to be in the middle class but can't find work though they have education, skills and training. It is for those who own real estate and property but can't maintain it because they have no income to reinvest in keeping up their property. And it is definitely for those who live in the inner cities, struggling to survive, cowering under their beds because gunshots blaze through the night. He assured the public that citizens will be kept in the loop about the objectives of the government. Mr. Holness also maintained that the ethos of his administration is to provide jobs and improve the economy. He says Jamaica is at an opportune time to reap real rewards and the JLP will do the necessary work to bring change. So more than anything else that I must do as a leader of this country, the Prime Minister of the country, is to keep the citizenry engaged. I am not saying to you that what we promise will take a linear route or a straight line. But if we keep our hands extended and we grasp each other and we hold on together and we walk the path, I make the commitment that we will change Jamaica together for the better. I'm Leslie Sherwood for Scene Caribbean News.